My NBA hero growing up was Kevin Durant. For me, it would be Carmelo Anthony. My favorite player growing up was always LeBron. My stepdad would talk about Michael Jordan a lot. You know, thanks to the internet, I just go right on YouTube and just look up Michael Jordan footage. You can go click on any random game, like full game highlights. And I mean, it's just incredible what he was able to do. It. Every game, same mentality, like just to go out there and kill on offense and defense. The spin move he did against the Knicks where he went baseline and you know dunked on Patrick Ewing like Oh what a move by George! Just to kind of put the ball right in front of him and just like only use his body to fake the defenders. And, like, and then just the way he was able to, you know, jump. And you think you got a block shot on him and just control his body and just somehow make this crazy layup. I chose to go with uh, Carmelo. I had all his posters, his jersey. I'd even wear a headband because of him, things like that. Yeah. Do you still wear a headband? Nah, I don't anymore. Um, Carmelo, I felt like his, the best part of his game was definitely his scoring ability. Just his mid-range and his, his footwork with his jab series and everything like that. This is game versus the Utah Jazz. He was either on suspension or he was hurt or something like that, but he came back, got a steal, and dunked on someone nasty, and then he was telling the crowd, like, I'm back. But the dunk always gets, you know, it gets everybody hurt. When I make the pass to my teammate that does some incredible move, incredible dunk or something, like, I get more hyped when my teammates do. What I do on the defensive end pumps me up the most. Uh, my favorite moments are when I can get somebody, you know, sliding, shaking, and I can uh, step back in my shot or whatever. Who does that the best right now in the league? Katie, for sure. My NBA hero growing up was Kevin Durant. Yeah, I like his game a lot. Um, I mean, he scores so effortlessly. And um, I mean, I think he's you know, one of the best in the league. I like how he gets to his spots. He's really efficient with his movements. Obviously, he's a phenomenal ball handler, um, a phenomenal shooter. You know, I aspire to be, you know, just as efficient as he is. My first poster, I think I had, I had a poster of LeBron when he first went to Miami. My favorite player growing up was always LeBron. The way he plays, you know, the way he could do everything on the court. He gets his teammates involved, he can score anytime. You know, you see him there not afraid to, you know, go up and block a big man's dunk or anything like that. He takes charges. He's just all over the place. I just love that, and he's a leader. That, that always stuck with me, you know, just those different things. And the chase down, you know, those are very fun to watch. You, you think you have an easy lip, and he just comes and just swats it. So. Style is kind of like, like a big subculture in, in basketball. Are there any particular players that, that you think have the best style in the NBA? So I'm gonna go with James Harden and like LeBron, but if I do make it to the NBA, you probably will catch me in sweatpants and like hoodies the whole time. Like I might wear like some fancy stuff every now and then, but she probably gonna catch me in sweats, whatever shoes I'm wearing, go in there and hoof. My boy Shea Gilgis Alexander, he plays for the Clippers. He's a rookie, but he comes out, you know, he got his little drip going. I also like Russell Westbrook and James Harden stuff. James Harden swag, I like James Harden swag. Some some of Russell's Russell Westbrook's outfits, I, I like some of them. Not as much. Russ comes, he wears some crazy stuff. You know, I gotta applaud him. He's able to pull it off. You have to be a certain type of person to, you know, be able to pull those, those things off. PJ Tucker's shoe game definitely is up there with the best. I feel like, you know, people, if you don't go here, you wouldn't really understand the term. It really is a brotherhood of family. I'll sit back and just think about how how blessed I am to be able to be in the, the position I am today. I can't even describe like the bond the whole team has. Like our team is just so deep. We play for each other. We always have each other's backs. And the emotion that you see when another teammate makes a play, that's what it's all about. Do you have a signature celebration? No, not yet. It's coming up. Coming soon.